Hello Prison Architects, welcome to the version 1.2 tutorial for the Prison Architect cell block calculator. In this particular tutorial I'll go through all the changes and improvements I've made to the application since version 1.1. If this is your first look at the Prison Architect cell block calculator and you're actually playing Prison Architect yourself, uh, you might want to check out my previous tutorial. Um, you can find a link to it down here and it kind of goes through all the basic stuff of the application, what all these fields are, what they mean and what they do, and so on and so forth. And uh, well, in this particular tutorial, I'll simply go through the changes since that version. And uh, we're starting off with uh, two cosmetic changes. First one, I simply improved some of the graphics for the objects, got in some high resolution um, images for those. So it might look slightly better. You might not notice it, but um, anyways. The second is the fact that walls actually now look like walls in game, and they also behave like walls in the game, so they'll create intersections and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I don't believe there is any difference between the two different types of walls, the concrete and the brick wall, except their appearance. So, once again, a cosmetic change. Um, I did change the fact that foundations now will be surrounded by brick wall. Uh, in the previous version, uh, your foundations in the calculator would actually get surrounded by a concrete wall, while in the game it's actually brick wall. So, also change that, but since there is no difference between the wall, this is just cosmetic change. Now, on to the actual f functionality. Well, in the previous version, you had to choose a tile size um, before you kind of build your cell block. However, in this version, you can now simply change it on the fly. Um, and that might be useful if you're building, for example, a really large cell block. Um, you might want to kind of zoom out and get an overview as you're putting in walls and stuff. But uh, once you're getting to adding objects and stuff like that, you might want to zoom in and have a closer look or something. And on the notion of size, well, I've also fully implemented the resize block functionality up here. I mentioned this in the uh, previous video, um, but um, back then the functionality wasn't fully implemented. So if you increase the height of your block, for example, you'd get some additional space, but all your objects would also be removed along with your materials. And, uh, well, that's no longer the case. So, if I put in some pool tables, for example, and resize the block again, obviously my pool tables and everything will stay the same. Now, in this particular case, I have a pool table down here, and of course, if I, for example, reduce the size by two, another two, um, there isn't going to be space for this particular pool table, and it'll be removed. Like so. But... Um, that's what this warning is about, saying that, well, you're actually decreasing the size of your block, so you'll lose some tiles, and obviously you might also lose some objects. Um, and of course, with that, you also have an updated um, overview of your costs, so if objects get removed, of course, this will be removed from the uh, total cost up here. And the same goes for the uh, cost of your foundation, cost of walls. Now, the final piece of functionality I've uh, implemented is actually another thing, another thing I mentioned in the previous video, namely the option to fill. And that basically allows you to fill most of the materials and, of course, room types into your cell block. And 
I can kind of press F to turn the fill mode on and off. And I've kind of right here hinted that the fill mode is on because you have to be mindful when using it because you can quickly override lots of lots of stuff you've done if you're not careful. So that's why I'm kind of hinting strongly that you're in fill mode or not in fill mode. And if I select an object, for example, and put it into fill mode, you'll notice that it doesn't hint because you can't actually fill objects. So there's no filling going on right now even though it's actually activated. But if I go back into, for example, materials, um, I can fill all these different types of materials except for walls. Doesn't necessarily make sense to fill walls, but if I choose this fancy tile and click, for example, up here, you'll notice that the entire room gets filled out with this particular material. And obviously this means that you can very quickly just fill out loads of stuff with different types of material if you want to. And it also works for demolish. So if I go back into these rooms, I can simply click inside the rooms and they'll just get erased, both the materials and the room type. So if I wanted to have, for example, some offices instead, I simply choose office from the rooms menu and just fill them in. And right now, obviously, stuff only gets filled out when it's connected. So in this particular case right here, actually let me get this, um, for example this room, well it's surrounded by walls and these walls block the fill from spilling over into other areas. But even if I had just space in between, um, it wouldn't fill over. So for example if I go back to demolish and actually click this concrete wall, it'll demolish the wall, the entire thing. And uh, well, if I go back into, for example, the materials and keep fill on, well, it still only fills the rooms. And that's because, well, before we had some walls surrounding the cells, but now we actually have all the rooms. We now have empty space surrounding the rooms, so the fill won't kind of spill over. And that's because along with the fill option you have a number of different settings for it and right now the default is matching tiles which means that it'll only fill out the type of tile that you clicked on so for example if I select this wooden floor and click on this empty space only the empty space will get filled out and the rooms will just stay the same like so um, I can also say for example I only want to fill out rooms. And let me just redo my block here and uh, well turn fill mode off and for example put in a very small shower between these two cells. Now this rooms only option means that it'll fill out any rooms that are connected no matter what type they are. So in this case right down here in the left bottom corner uh, we actually have three rooms that are connected. So if I go in and choose, for example, this wooden tile or material and fill it, it'll fill out all three rooms because they're connected. And similar to that, we have one that only fills out empty space. So if I select that, actually go back to demolish and just create some space up here for example. So now we have some empty space that I actually connect it to two rooms. But if I keep the space only selection on and fill out this empty space, the rooms up here are untouched because of that. The final option is actually a combination of the rooms only and space only meaning that both rooms and space will get filled out. So if I choose this ceramic floor, for example, and now click on the empty space, both the space and the rooms get filled out. Um, so those are the different settings for the fill option. 
uh, I guess the most common usage will be the matching tiles because it's safer that way but you can use the other ones to well I guess make it safe as well but uh, also just say well for example if you want to have the same tiles um, on the same materials for both space and your rooms you can just use the rooms and space only and use that to fill out any materials and uh, room types or whatever and of course the fill option is supposed to be useful for well quickly creating um, a diverse cell block because in the previous version and in this one once you kind of calculate a cell block well you get a block filled with one type of room or even perhaps no types of rooms just some walls dividing the block into different sections and this one well the fill option obviously allows you to quickly say well I want some cells up here like so but the bottom is actually supposed to be offices and if I go back into demolish and just make room for some doors for example you can go back into matching tiles and say well now I also want some materials and I want the space out here to be just these concrete tiles but the cells themselves should be for example marble for the cells and perhaps fancy tiles for the offices so the uh, fill option will hopefully make it a lot faster and easier for you to kind of just quickly dish out some room types and uh, materials and uh, that pretty much covers the uh, the functional functionality in this uh, 1.2 version not really a lot of stuff but uh, I'm hoping that it's useful stuff so and like I said in the previous um, tutorial, if there's um, anything you'd like to see added, new functionality, or if you have some great ideas about how to improve it, don't hesitate to leave a comment or get in touch with me. And obviously the same goes for, well, if you encounter any bugs or any kind of issues with the application, I'd love to hear about it. Um, that's the only way I can really improve it uh, beyond just getting some good ideas myself. So... Um, yeah, and of course, if you just have something to say about the application itself, um, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Um, but um, that's going to be it for now. So um, thank you a lot for watching. Um, take care and see you soon.